today i am going to explaining the one of the experiment so that is tool makers microscope the main aim of this experiment is measurement of thread parameter using tool makers microscope by using this tool makers microscope uh, 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 we are going to measure some thread parameters uh, like uh, uh, what uh, measure diameters uh, measure me diameter of the thread uh, minor diameter of the thread then pitch and thread angle we have to uh, find out by using this tool makers microscope so to uh, to purpose of uh, the team so we are going to use some uh, uh, main components like tool makers microscope is a device one of the uh, instrumental device so we are going to uh, use and our near caliper is used for measuring uh, those uh, uh, those parameters so now so i am going to showing uh, this figure the figure of the uh, tool makers microscope so the, this is the device of this uh, uh, this is the figure for the tool makers microscope so it is mainly contain it has uh, the column so this one is the column of uh, the tool makers microscope and this one is the optical head so this one is the eye piece of uh, uh, the my tool makers microscope and uh, this one is the work table with carriage and this one is the base of the tool makers microscope and this one is the mirror and uh, this one is the lamp monochromatic source light source will be used to measure the unknown parameters so in this uh, uh, i am showing uh, so this one is the tool makers uh, microscope device so is uh, so, so this one is uh, operated uh, uh, by the principle of monochromatic light source so this one is the optical wavelength uh, uh, using the optical wavelength light source we are going to find out uh, the unknown uh, parameters so, so it is a uh, uh, difference it is very uh, uh, a very feasible uh, uh, feasible uh, to use uh, instead of using uh, the uh, line, uh, line standards or mechanical devices so it is not a mechan it is uh, it is not uh, uh, in this device we are not uh, used some mechanical links uh, we are used so so some friction is avoided so and uh, length is uh, uh, length does not change because uh, here uh, to measure the unknown parameters monochromatic light sources will be used so that's why uh, so this one is uh, economical and uh, the uh, the readings can be also reproducible uh, so uh, very beneficial and a very uh, feasible uh, to measure the unknown parameters okay and uh, so some few components uh, i am showing uh, from this device so this one is the work table and this one is the base and uh, so this uh, so this one is the eye piece uh, and uh, so this one is the here uh, you can see the, there are two adjustable screws are there so by using this screws you can adjust uh, uh, this device from up and down so and uh, here so there are two micrometers are there so one is uh, uh, so the uh, one is horizontal and another one is vertical so by using this uh, horizontal micrometer you can adjust the horizontal lines to the root and crest and so this one is the vertical uh, micrometer by using this you can also adjust the vertical line uh, to from uh, one uh, thread one of the thread to the adjacent of the uh, consecutive thread and uh, so this one is you can see here uh, you can see so this one is uh, the dial gauge so so this dial gauge uh, dial angle gauge will be used to measure the thread angle angle of the thread so here uh, uh, you have to adjust so this here you can see main scale will be there and also vernier scale will be there so you have to be first initially you have to be adjusted this main scale uh, to coincide with the zero of the vernier scale uh, while before taking the readings you have to be adjusted so here so micrometers to micrometers uh, we are going to use to find out uh, the major diameter and uh, minor diameter and uh, uh, so so by using this horizontal micrometer we have to find out the major and minor diameters and uh, this uh, micrometer the another micrometer is there so by using this micrometer we, go, we are going to find out the pitch of the thread so these uh, micrometers uh, the least count of this uh, map, uh, micrometers uh, is uh, the same uh, same method uh, you are going to uh, apply uh, to measure uh, uh, to find out the least count of uh, this micrometer so same one msd divided by total number of divisions on var uh, vernier scale so here uh, the one least division on main scale is how much so you have already know micrometer which has uh, least division is uh, one engraving line to another engraving line which shows that is 0 0.5 millimeter so that is the least count on main scale that is 0.5 millimeter divided by total total number of divisions on vernier scale so that is uh, 
50. So that is 0 0.5 divided by 50 is how much? That is 0 0.01 millimeter is the least count for the micrometer. Okay. So and uh, for similarly for uh, least count for dial gauge. To, so this uh, particularly this dial gauge will be used to measure the thread angle of uh, the, the thread angle of the uh, uh, screw. Uh, screw. Okay. So here uh, the screw, uh, the least count, uh, its least count is, uh, that is uh, 6 minute is the least count of this dial gauge. Uh, so here before uh, we are going to measure the major and minor uh, diameter of the thread, so before you, you have to adjust it, say, uh, it is adjusted from 12.5 uh, uh, meter to our uh, uh, distance 12.5 12, 12 to 15 mm distance then you can move very easily very conveniently you can move the micrometers okay so here uh, so uh, you keep this screw in this work so this one is the working table so keep this uh, screw at the middle of the work table and see the C on this eyepiece so there are two lines you can see uh, so okay start ready sir Yes, uh, here uh, there are two lines you can see in this uh, view. So one is horizontal line. So another one is vertical line for uh, to measure the pitch. So you can see. So here I am showing. Uh, so this is uh, one side of the thread. So and uh, this one is the bottom side of the thread. So here uh, uh, you can see in the video uh, the two lines you have observed. So here uh, in this uh, uh, the I am showing uh, the one of the horizontal line and another one is vertical line. Okay. So, and uh, you first you have to adjust by using this uh, uh, micrometer. So, you have to adjust this line, horizontal line at the uh, crest. Okay. So, this one is crest, crest of the thread and this one is the bottom line is the root of the thread. So, this one, so I am uh, I am showing for uh, to find out the major diameter, uh, major diameter of the thread. So, to find out the major diameter of the thread, so you have to adjust this line, horizontal line to above the peak or crest this portion is called it as the crest of the thread so you have to adjust this line to the crest of the thread okay so and take so this one is taken as the initial reading okay similarly once you have to taken the initial reading by reading this micrometer then we have to adjust this horizontal line so so what 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 we have seen in the uh, micro eyepiece so this line you have to be adjust the bottom of the thread, bottom of the crest of the thread. So this one is the bottom of the crest of the thread. You have to bring bring that horizontal line to the bottom of the crest line. So that it means so this distance. So this one is considered as the final reading of the final reading. So the difference between these two that is the difference between the final reading or uh, final reading minus initial or initial to final is that is your major diameter of the thread final minus initial so that is your major diameter of the thread similarly for to find out in the minor uh, uh, minor diameter of the thread so you have to adjust this horizontal line to the bottom of the uh, sorry top of the root of the thread so this portion is called it as the root of the thread and this one is crest of the thread so you have to adjust that horizontal line to the root of the thread okay so this one is initial reading take the reading the initial so it, it, this reading is considered as initial reading and uh, again once you have to take an initial reading then come to uh, come to that uh, brings that line to the bottom of the root okay adjust so this one is bottom so this distance is called it as the minor diameter take the this one is final reading so the difference between the final minus initial or initial or minus final is uh, your uh, uh, minor diameter of the thread. So, similar, so this is the way you have to find out the major and minor diameter of the thread. So, and uh, pitch of the thread, so you have to use this uh, vertical uh, uh, micrometer. So, here also it has also the least count of this micrometer is same 0 0.01 millimeter. So, you have to adjust the vertical line of the thread. So, you have to use this uh, micrometer. Okay. So, here first uh, the I have adjusted uh, the one of the vertical line which is uh, adjusted to the center of the thread. One of center of the one of the thread and take uh, uh, the reading. Read this uh, micrometer. So, that is considered as the initial reading. So, that is your initial reading. And then 
then adjusted that uh, uh, vertical line to the uh, side of the consecutive thread or next to thread this next to center of the thread okay i am going to adjusting the next uh, center of the thread so that is your final ready so that is your final ready and difference between uh, the final minus initial or initial minus final is your pitch of the thread so this is so this is our pitch of the thread p okay likewise uh, you have to find out the pitch of the thread now i am showing uh, the how to measure the thread angle the another uh, thread parameters uh, another parameter so that is uh, thread angle we have to find out so to find out the thread angle uh, so you have to use this diagram so its list count is 6 uh, minute so here um, so the here you can see here uh, main scale which is uh, coincided with the vernier scale uh, of zero uh, zero division so uh, first uh, you have to same so here the vertical line is there vertical line it is uh, so adjust that vertical line to the one of the uh, one of the left portion of the thread so here i am showing okay so here the vertical line is there so this bring this vertical line to adjust to this this side this side of the thread okay and take and read the read this uh, uh, dial gauge so this uh, read this dial gauge so that one is initial reading and adjust and adjust so this uh, uh, this line to this side this uh, this side of the thread and take the reading so that is second reading uh, second reading so this is the half of the thread we have got in initial reading so and uh, another half of the reading we have taken then add this uh, two angles that is 1 plus 2 add the the first reading and uh, second reading so you will get, get the total thread total thread angle thread angle so so this is the way you have to find out uh, the different types of uh, the thread parameters uh, so you have uh, i have shown uh, how to uh, find uh, the different types of thread parameters like major diameter minor diameter pitch and also the thread angle so thank you